Now, local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Champlain. Thanks for joining us. Police in Madison County have arrested three people suspected of committing voter fraud. Democratic Party Chair Thomas Ashley is facing two charges of voter fraud. Ashley has been party chair for the last 17 years. Ashley's son-in-law, Kyle Barber, is facing 17 different charges, including voter fraud and obstruction of justice. Mindy Zeller is charged with voter fraud and voting outside of her precinct. The arrests follow investigation by the Indiana State Police and the FBI during the 2003 elections. The insurance settlement for the fire at the Gaston Fire Department is in, but as NewsLink Indiana's Randy Rankin tells us, that money might not be enough. It's been almost 11 weeks since a fire damaged equipment at the Gaston Fire Department. A tanker truck and a pump truck were burned beyond repair. We have an ambulance that the state has come in and condemned it because it uh, won't pass their standard. The insurance policy was enough to cover the equipment they had eight years ago, but current standards by the National Fire Protection Association have complicated the matter. Delaney says that the $130,000 settlement from the insurance company to replace this 1964 tanker is not enough to meet NFPA standards. The fire department still needs approximately $30,000 and grant money from the county is not available. Delaney thought he had a line on some money to help buy a new truck, but that fell through. Since we're incorporated, we don't belong to anybody that we wasn't eligible for that money. Delaware County Emergency Management Director Bill Gosnell says there are other ways to cover the extra cost. I'm curious to see if they've applied for one of the Fire Act grants through the Department of Homeland Security. Delaney hopes the department is back to full force after Christmas. In Gaston, Randy Rankin, Newslink, Indiana. Other fire departments from the area will continue to help the Gaston Fire Department on calls until they're at full force. And now here's Brian Smith with a look at tonight's forecast. Brian. Good evening. Tonight expect misty conditions to change over to snow flurries late with a low dropping down to 33 by morning. Tomorrow if you are headed out to the Ball State men's home basketball game, temperatures will only recover to the middle 30s with flurries possible. And for the five day forecast shows temperatures in the middle 30s by Monday and look at this low temperature dropping down to 15 by Tuesday morning. We will recover a little bit by Wednesday with sunny conditions. Stephanie. Thanks Brian and that is NewsLink Indiana. Join us at 1129 for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at NewsLinkIndiana.com.